sorry to bring up cocaine again, but um, there was a question yesterday during the press gaggle with um, Andrew Bates that was, I guess, he said that it had, he, did, he was avoiding it because of the Hatch Act. I'm just asking again, can you just say once and for all whether or not the cocaine belonged to the Biden family? So, <laughs> a couple of things there. Um, he mentioned the Hatch Act because the question was posed to him in the Donald in yes. using Donald Trump, and so he was trying to be very mindful. Yes, uh, uh, okay, I, I hear you, but you're asking me a question, so I'm answering it for you. Um, and so that's why he said the Hatch Act. So I would, I would, you know, have you read the transcript and read the transcript fully, so you can see exactly what he was trying to say. So that's number one. So we're not avoiding the question. That is not true. We've answered this question litigated this question for the last two days exhaustively. Um, you know, there has been some irresponsible reporting uh, about the family, and, uh, and so I got to call that out here. And I have been very clear. I was clear uh, two days ago when talking about this over and over again as I was being asked a question. As you know, and media outlets reported this, the Biden family was not here. They were not here. They were at Camp David. They were not here Friday, they were not here Saturday, they were not here Sunday, they were not even here Monday. They came back on Tuesday. So to ask that question is actually incredibly irresponsible. And, and um, I'll just leave it there.